Dear students, towards utilizing the online databases and tools for bioinformatics, you would want to know how do we approach these online tools and how do we find them. So to start with answering that question, I will be exploring a very famous and ubiquitously used online tool called XPSI. XPSI provides you with a wide range of functions for genomics, proteomics, systems biology, transcriptomics, and so on. So to begin with XPSI, let me briefly mention how XPSI came into being and later we will see the different uh, sequence and structural uh, tools that are available in XPSI. So XPSI was developed by the Swiss Bioinformatics Institute or simply SIB and it is a website that you can uh, explore using the Internet Explorer or even the Google Chrome. So all you have to do is input xpc.com and it will take you to the XPSI portal. So the major functionality of XPSI includes genomics, proteomics, transcriptomics, systems biology, phylogeny and many others. So if you are interested in doing a study in any one of these areas, XPSI will be your best friend. So you can simply go to the XPSI portal by going to xpsi.org as you can see here and you will arrive at this web page a portion of which I have put here on the slide and it can provide you with a lot of information and tools associated with this set of information to process it further. If you look closely, then we have proteomics, genomics, structural bioinformatics, systems biology, phylogeny, population genetics, transcriptomics, even biophysics, imaging, IT infrastructure and drug design categories within XPSI. So if you want to utilize anything from these categories, XPSI will be very useful. So let's take an overview of what XPSI has to offer in terms of the different tools. So here you have a complete overview of the tools that is available within XPSI. At the heart of, for instance, the proteomics part, you have the SwissProt protein sequence database, the SwissProt docs. So this information is essentially the protein sequences, the information associated with each sequence, the sequence IDs, the species, accession numbers, and a lot of other useful information. Then, the same information is linked with the Swiss 2D page, which is a 2D gel electrophoresis software. And on the other side, you have ProSite. So the protein families and domains information is provided here. You also have the enzyme database here, enzyme nomenclature. And if you look on top, then you also have the 3D structure, that is Swiss 3D image. So you have a lot of information if you click on the proteomics category within the XPSI website, you will arrive at all of these software and databases as well as the tools. So this is just an overview of a few of them. So let me take you to that tab. So I have clicked on the proteomics tab to give you an example of this category. So proteomics is a category in which proteins are analyzed and the tools associated with these proteins are provided. So as I was just telling you on the previous slide, you have the protein sequences and identification here. You have the mass spec, which is used to sequence proteins. Then you have protein characterization and functional analysis. Of course, you, would, you may want to look at the families, the patterns and profiles, or the post-translational modifications as well. Below this, you have protein structure and the protein-protein interaction. And then, of course, similarity search or alignment.
So this alignment is a pairwise sequence alignment for proteins or a global sequence alignment for multiple proteins. So all of these tools are again available within the proteomics category. I will not go into the detail of all the categories, but you can explore XPSI portal and there's a high chance that the software that you need or the database that you need will be available with XPSI. Now I'll give you an overview of a couple of software that are available and are very useful on XPSI. For instance, ProSight. So the ProSight, the scan ProSight tool, it allows you to scan protein sequences that you can input and then you can search them in the ProSight database. So simply you can input your sequence here and it will extract the ProSight pattern for you if you submit the job. So this is a very useful tool if you remember the ProSight patterns that we discussed. So this can help you extract all such patterns from the protein sequences. Next we have the peptide mass. So this is another very useful tool and it can help you to estimate the mass of a peptide. Peptide is a small portion of a protein which may be resulting by the enzymatic digestion of a protein. So if you have a protein and you treat it with an enzyme, several peptides will be produced and this software can help you to find those peptides as well as calculate their molecular weight. Similarly, you have Prol and FineMod. So these tools are there and they are in tens uh, of numbers and you can select the tool by just reading the information which is provided along with the tool. So for instance, the FineMod tool can help you to predict the post-translational modifications on proteins as well. So in conclusion, XPSI is one tool that is available online and it is interfaced with a lot of protein, gen genomics, and systems biology databases from which it can extract information as well as a set of tools for processing this information. You may select the tool of your choice by looking at your problem and the complementary tool that is available in XPSI.